Hey, what is going on? It's uh, Mark J. Spieler, MD, the um, prescription amphetamine felon. Uh, back on for another installment. Uh, I did the first one. I'm basically just getting acquainted with this camera. Uh, right now, I've, uh, I mean, it's a new iPhone. It's like, <clears throat> I guess the iPhone 14 came out, but I'm pretty sure I've got an iPhone 13 Pro Max, um, which seems to have pretty good quality. I, I mean, it's obviously good enough for this. Uh, I'm just testing it out, but <clears throat> I've got a few minutes here. Um, I was just at the gym and stuff like that, and uh, and yeah, I don't know. I guess the I guess the camera's up here. Maybe maybe I should look at the camera. I don't know, but we'll we'll see how that goes. <laughs> they say you're supposed to do that, but anyway, I'm just goofing around here. Um, I'm more or less. Um, I started telling the story last time. Uh, or the last video about um, about me and like my more or less like starting the, the drug chronicles and I was talking about like my early drug use and stuff like that and I think I had gotten to um, I gotten right about to 2006 and I remember I remember I, I started talking about what was get I was getting into I started getting into uppers then, st hard stimulants, uh, <clears throat> pharmaceutical ones mainly, um, Adderall. Adderall was my first like hard stimulant experience. It was in early, um, early, like late spring or so, I don't know, it was spring semester of 2006. Uh, I was in medical school at the time. It would have been my first year and uh, the, I knew a guy that that had an Adderall prescription and he offered me one. I, I think, I don't remember if it was a five or a 10. It was, it was not a lot, but when you have no tolerance to something like that, even, even a five, I think it may have been a five, five or a 10. I don't know, but I just took it orally, swallowed it. Um, I'd only ever snorted Vicodin by then, which is stupid. You know, it's mostly like snorting Tylenol. It's, it's ridiculous. But my buddies and I did that, like, I think when I was like 21 or something. I'm 24 at the time that I'm talking about now. Um, <clears throat> where was I? Um, but yeah, and I and I forgot to mention I'd also taken magic mushrooms once at the age of 21. It was the summer I was of oh, pretty sure it was 03. Uh, because I remember the next day we tried to put we tried to put headers and exhaust system on my on my Mustang that I had back then. I had a Mustang for like 10 years and it was a 94 GT with the five liter. And, uh, we, we fucked up the headers and like my friend's dad had to like put them on. And I just, I had a lot of trouble with those just like screws coming loose. And it, it was just a dumb idea. I mean, they sounded cool. Um, especially with the rest of the exhaust system. Like I had, I had a, from the head to the tailpipe, I had all, new tubular exhaust, off-road H-pipe, um, flow master, the loud flow masters, uh, mufflers, you know. Anyway, but yeah, we did magic mushrooms the night before that, and my one buddy started freaking out in the woods that uh, he was seeing the predator. I don't know if he was just messing with us, trying to get us to freak out. I mean, we didn't, because, I don't know, I just, I couldn't see the predator that night. But he seemed pretty intent on that. But that was another drug experience that I forgot to mention and I think I know we were smoking weed with that I don't remember drinking or not I don't I don't know but it, it was kind of intense I mean I probably ate maybe half an eighth of shrooms it wasn't I mean they were good I mean they were gnarly looking like they were just all like they, they looked like a fan what's the word they looked almost cartoonishly weird like if you've ever seen magic mushrooms they're they're weird looking they look um, they're just strange looking. They look like they're almost like illustrated in, into reality. It's, 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 they're weird. But anyway, yeah. So back to uppers in 2006, my buddy gave me an Adderall before, uh, we had a party after a test that people used to throw these kind of big parties after we'd have, like, we'd have a few tests, like big tests every semester. And then, um, then Friday, they'd usually be on Friday and then Friday night, someone would a party and I remember I took 
five or 10 milligrams, whatever it was. It wasn't a big dose, but it was my first time. And then went out drinking on top of that. And of course I brought my weed and, and all that. And I was smoking that at the, like outside at the party. And, um, I mean, looking back on it, like even, even then, like you're supposed to be <laughs> something of a professional. And I, I just, I don't know. I never really considered that. I used to I used to do a lot of various drugs around different people over the years, and I, I never really considered, like, how that looked from a professional sense, you know, and, uh, I mean, obviously that caught up to me, uh, I'll get more into that story later, but anyway, I had an awesome time, um, drinking, smoking weed, uh, and I'd taken that Adderall, and, you know, Adderall lasts hours, I mean, it, it lasted the whole night, and, you know, people were commenting on how, like, I'm normally sort of a quiet guy, and, uh, I was just, you know, I was drinking and on Adderall, and I was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, just, I was different, you know, and, and like, like I mentioned before, I, I, I liked, I liked it way too much. Looking back on it, I liked it way too much. And, uh, so yeah, there, and then I remember we had studied, stimulant drugs like that year in class and um amphetamines and cocaine like i i you know learned their pharmacology and their i mean i didn't really look into too much of like the addiction part or anything like that i just learned their mechanism of action and what the, what their effects were and i i read that i was like man and then i thought i thought back to that movie blow which i had seen where they said accepted by actors and musicians the rest will follow or something like that and i was just like hmm if all these actors and musicians that I think are cool do it, like, why not try it? What could go wrong, you know? So I ended up, I went back to Pittsburgh for the summer after that first year of medical school, and the guy I was getting weed from, actually it was a predator, the guy who saw the predator in the woods, it was his cousin, he used to sell us weed, and he was, I think, starting to get into opiates around that time, like pain pills. And I... Uh, he could get cocaine, so I bought some one day, it was like $50 worth, it was probably, I don't know, it was probably half a gram, it was very, I was disappointed when I saw the bag, it was this like little tiny looking thing at the bottom of a, like a sandwich bag that had been cut, you know, just to have one of the corners there, it was like tied off, and I was like, man, 50 bucks for that, but it ended up being pretty good, um, I mean, again, I had no tolerance, I'd never tried it before, we were just like, dip a, a, the end of our key, like a, you know, a house key or car key or whatever, like into the powder and just get a little bit on the, the end of the, the key and then just, you know, and I still remember that feeling when that, cause I didn't, I thought maybe, I thought it would be like snorting Vicodin or something and, and which was just, you know, snorting Tylenol, there's nothing really nice about that, but I remember the smell and then like, it's very, it's a topical anesthetic. So uh, I remember that smell of it, and then, like, soon after I got the numb feeling, and then, like, I mean, anybody who snorted cocaine would, you know, you know, would know what that's like, and I just had a few beers, and we did a few more of those, and I felt fucking great, I felt amazing, and, uh, again, I didn't recognize that at the time for, that's a, that's a problem if you like something that much, um, or, I mean, it's potentially a problem. It, it should tell you to be very careful and, uh, probably shouldn't do it more than once in a blue moon. But, you know, of course, like I, it was probably a week or two later, I was like, oh, can I get more? And I ended up getting bags over the summer. Uh, and I ended up spending pretty much all the, the money I made detailing cars on bags of cocaine. And it just wasn't good. I mean, it, uh, I don't know, I would just lose sleep, and, you know, I would drink, and it was just, but I loved it, you know, I loved that feeling, and, um, so that kind of set me up for, for what happened later, um, after that summer, I kind of cooled it for a while, and then, like, l later on that second year, I found, um, the guy that lived across the hall from me was, like, a 20-year-old kid or something, and we started hanging out, and and it turned out he could get it. So I would buy little bits from him and would do it with my one buddy that I was in med school with too. Uh, we did it quite a bit that year. I mean, I wouldn't do it for like days on end continuously or anything, but um, 
we would get together, hang out. We, we used to call it having a session. We'd have a session and uh, just snort coke and smoke weed and uh, drink beer. Occasionally I'd get a pain pill or two in there, but not much. And that was the other thing I, I noticed, I think as early as then, this would have been about late 06, early 07. I noticed when you combine, I think we had hydrocodone or oxycodone like Percocet or something, just, you know, small time pain pills. If you combine that with your Coke session, it really evened out like the rough edges of the Coke and really made you feel just too damn good, you know? And again, I didn't, I didn't recognize that for what it was. Um, and this continued like <clears throat> between then and 2013, it was irregular. Like occasionally I'd get a connection. Like I went back to Pittsburgh for internship, did it on and off in med school, really not that much overall. And then I went back to Pittsburgh for my internship and met up with a predators, predator guy's cousin and I would get, I got it from him like four times during internship, like four different weekends or something. And I mean, had a blast, you know, and I, I remember, I think I did it at work one time when I was an intern, like one weekend I was just, I'd gotten it on a Friday and I just was like coked up all weekend and I had to work. I didn't have call or anything. I just had to go in and see patients and make rounds. And uh, God, that was nerve wracking and stupid you know, but I didn't want to be all like, uh, like tired and just fucked up. So I would just do some Coke here and there. And I got some pain pills then too. And it was just, I was, ugh. it's scary, you know, and, <clears throat> but I didn't, it gave me experience doing those types of drugs while on the job as an intern doctor, having no consequence from, I didn't get caught. I didn't get drug tested. If anybody suspected it, somebody saw me and was like, are you okay? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just not feeling so well or whatever. And, like, then they asked me, like, a couple days later, are you feeling better? I'm like, oh, yeah. And I, you know, I'd come off of it by then. I was, like, super tired, like, that first part of the week. But um, anyway, so, I mean, somebody noticed something even then, but I didn't face any consequences for it. So looking back on it, it may have emboldened me. Um, in these future things, which, which basically started around again on 20 in 2013. Um, but yeah, I'll get into that in the next one. I gotta, I gotta go do some stuff and we're coming up on 13 minutes on this. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep cutting these videos and, and, um, uh, I guess I'll upload them to YouTube soon enough. Uh, I don't know. They're not going to be that good to start out with, but I'm still getting the hang of it. I'm sure, excuse me, I'm sure I'll be getting the hang of it for quite a while. Hopefully I will get the hang of it somewhat, but here we are. Uh, okay. Um, thanks for listening. RxAmphetamine fell on out for now. Peace.